that, that we decide to continue doing, I think there's great value in it, but not in a mixed format. Uh, the only way I could see somebody doing it like that is if they were extremely technically savvy and able to uh, balance teaching both individuals through an online format and individuals live and that's a great challenge uh, technically you 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 know all the tools and stuff that have to go on plus personally you have to be trying to as as an instructor I'm always trying to think in advance of what you're thinking so I can try and help you know, bring examples that are pertinent or envision what sort of questions you're going to have for me before you have them so I can be thinking about an answer um, and to do that with two different people one locally and one remotely um, I think is is too much of a challenge for most people so I can see either an online format exclusively or a classroom format but to do both I, I would not recommend it and I, I sort of gave that to Dr. Wells and said I'm you know I had a bit of a challenge because I had somebody sitting in the class and somebody remotely at the same time I've been in a class where they taught that way it was over at uh, Learning Tree and they had people that were coming in along with the regular course and what occurred is there were probably eight of us nine of us yeah, here she comes there were eight or nine of us in the class and he would be going along talking on stuff and then every once in a while he'd have to stop go back to his desk look down at the screen and say has anyone you know raised their hand for example so um, that to me seems like the people online receive secondary focus and and that's not my intent so